Okay, hello, I, I'm, I'm Sandy Brown and uh, this is my studio and it's nice to welcome you here. Um, this is where I make all my work in clay and coloured glazes. And I'm standing in front of a model for the Earth Goddess sculpture which I'm making for St. Austell. Um, the model is um, about two metres tall um, the full-size version is going to be 12 metres tall, which apparently is more than the height of two double-decker buses, so I'm told. And the reason for doing it is the fact that um, St. Austell is wanting to celebrate the fact that it is actually actually the China clay capital of the world. And so that's why I'm making an earth goddess, because China clay is the earth. We are all of the earth. Let's celebrate the earth. And, uh, you know, she's made of clay. The earth goddess is made of clay, which is the most common material on the earth. And all of the coloured glazes um, come from various rocks and minerals from the earth. So it's a good thing to do to celebrate um, those materials and to celebrate the earth. And it's appropriate for St. Austell. Well, I am standing now beside one of the um, full-size sections of the earth goddess. Um, she is actually, uh, so I've been told, going to be the tallest ceramic sculptor in the UK and probably Europe and I haven't actually found a taller one anywhere yet so far um, but I'm waiting to see if I'm going to be corrected on that. Um, so the limiting factor with the size it was the size of my kiln. I've got a very large kiln and each section of the earth goddess that I've made her in has to go into the kiln. So she's made in three sections um, to make one big circle because the, the circle is the symbol of unity and of harmony and of completeness. And so there are a lot of circles, or she is basically comprised of um, circles. And let's celebrate the circles. And so I've used coloured glazes on her to um, paint the decoration and I, you know, I, like, I do that very freely. I like doing that very, very freely. Um, I have to show you my favourite tool. I'm just, excuse me a minute. This is my this is my favourite tool to apply the glazes because uh, you have to just it's a potter's tool. It's traditionally been used to apply one coloured clay over another coloured clay, and I have really sort of I, I well I just squirted some out. You have to just sort of let go. You can't be mm, with it, and so. It's a great way of being free and expressive and that's how you get these lovely strong lines and it's how you get the colourful drips as well. And I'm using um, cobalt oxide, which I like, which makes the blue. Copper oxide makes the, the green. And, uh, uh, and I've developed all these coloured glazes. I've even incorporated some local mud as well as a glaze. And the St. Austell China clay is here too because that makes the colours sing um, to put it on top of the St. Austral China clay. These sections on, on, the, on the floor here are the um, various sections of the arms which um, will be um, made into one continuous sort of um, semicircle. Uh, and they will all be assembled on site when we go down to St. Austral. The process is um, building it with um, flat slabs of clay, building her up gradually. Clay um, is very strong when it's dry. Well, that's not entirely true, actually. It will carry a lot of weight when it's dry, but not when it's still soft, because obviously it's plastic. I couldn't put another much on top of this because it would slump. So a lot of the, the way of making a, a large piece like this is a question of timing and of building one piece of clay to the next at the right time and then uh, moving it very carefully into the kiln um, and, and firing it slowly and gradually. Well it's been a wonderful project to be working on. I've been working on it for about 18 months and it, it has been a challenge to make something at this scale and to make it all, all work and so um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's going to be fully assembled and installed in, in, in St. Austell. I'm really looking forward to seeing um, uh, how, how she looks in real 
three three dimensional sort of full full size really. We're aiming to install her um, next year, early next year, probably uh, uh, Easter or early summer. And uh, so I hope you all come down to St Austell and see her. And uh, um, and I hope you will I hope you will like what you see and be impressed with what you see, because uh, she's been an absolute joy to build and to make and to express and there is not going to be another one like that anywhere in the world it's so unusual actually I, it's a, it's it's a surprises me that we don't see more ceramics um outside because the colored glazes work so well outside they 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 look bright and fresh they'll stay like this for absolutely ever because they've been fired in a kiln the colors will look um, bright and clear indefinitely actually so that it's a great material to use um, for outside artworks so I'm delighted to be I think leading the way on it I think I am anyway we'll see <laughs> if I'm contradicted on that or not and I hope you'll come down to St Austell and see her